Uh, my name is Elsie Clement and I am a uh, collector of Swedish Dala horses, hand carved, handmade, everything is hand carved and handmade, and I live here in Ottawa. My collection started in 1984 when my husband and I were on a sabbatical in Sweden for one year and uh, it happened to be at Christmas time that uh, a lot of Dala horses seemed to come out into the shops. It really was this horse. It's an antique from uh, 1850s, one of the older uh, type horses. When I first encountered that horse in a shop in Stockholm, it started me on the road to collecting. The history of the Dala horse is very interesting. Uh, in the 1850s, uh, isolated communities didn't have money to pay for things, uh, but they did build cabinets and uh, cabinets were beautifully decorated by their wives who were usually the painters of these products, including these horses in the winter. They were built, or sorry, carved uh, by the uh, people who are selling cabinets. So when these people from the major, from the big cities would come out to purchase cabinetry to bring back to the cities, um, they noticed these dollar horses, these little horses that were meant to be toys for children, but then it became currency to be able to purchase other things that they didn't have in their own communities in, in Sweden. The green is not a traditional color, but the red is the most traditional. White is quite common, black is very common, and a dark uh, navy blue as well would be very common. Sizes and shapes of every sort uh, is not unusual. This is a dollar horse as well, but it's a little older than that one. And it came from a community quite, iso quite a bit more isolated than the traditional places like Mora or, or whatever. But this one has an unusual shape and it was found in an old barn. And so the community in which it was found took, uh, took over and made their own design. So you can tell from what town or even the carver, who the carver is, by looking at the shape of the horse. They're very different. Uh, you're looking at even something like that. They're all very different. You can tell where they were, which, where they came from. So I started looking at more antique horses. Uh, the Swedish ambassador had heard about me. I'd had one, apparently at the time, I had one of the largest collections of these particular type of uh, horses in Canada. There's a few other larger collections of private uh, collectors in Sweden, of course. And so he asked if he could come and see my collection in my home. And he had brought visitors along. And of course, he himself was an historian. Not of Dala horse necessary, necessarily, but of Swedish history. So he's very interested and it was quite a surprise when uh, they asked to come and see my collection. He seemed impressed. <laughs> Made me feel good. It'll never reach its peak. There's always uh, new communities, new artists who come out with things. I think there's room for a lot more to come.